What's going on everybody and welcome to the channel and today we'll be reviewing Resident Evil 4 for the uh, Nintendo Switch. We, uh, <laughs> this one took me a little bit of time just because I have any, a lot of games playing and just a bunch of stuff going on right now. Uh, but I was able to uh, get my hands on Resident Evil 4 and this is my review for it. This is my first time that I actually get to review Resident Evil 4 in general, even though it's one of my favorite games from all time. And uh, I have actually talked about it quite a bit in my channel, but I, you know, I figured I could play it one more time. I spent, uh, it's one of those games that I, I played so many times, I kind of just know it by memory. And just going back to it again and playing it, uh, there's a lot of cool stuff and everything. So, yeah, um, just gonna point out this game is actually $30 on the Switch. Uh, it's $20 everywhere else. So I don't know what is $30 in the Switch. It might not be worth it for you if you're not a super fan or something like that. Even if you're a super fan, if you already played the game many times, you might not even need to play it on the uh, Switch, to be honest with you. Um, there is no kind of, uh, not any enhancements or anything like that. Um, it's just a raw game. I guess you could say this is like the uh, PS2 version of the game. You know, it has the same stuff and everything, features and everything. It comes with the Ada um, episode and uh, uh, mercenaries and that kind of stuff. So as far as that, there's no no additional features or anything like that. I hoped that this was gonna be like the 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 Wii. I'm um, no, not Wii. Uh, yeah, the Wii ori original Wii version that you could have like the Wii mode and everything, uh, but it's not. <laughs> so that's a little bit uh, disappointing because they do have the features with the movement and everything on on the. Uh, Switch controllers, so oh, I was hoping that it would have been a feature, but it's not. Uh, so, Resident Evil 4, uh, 4 um, the story overall is really good, it is really interesting. Uh, it takes place in Spain. Uh, Leon Kennedy, which is the um, main protagonist on Resident Evil 2, he gets uh, shipped over there. He needs to rescue the uh, daughter of the President of the United States. And that's it, that's his mission, he doesn't know much or anything. Obviously, uh, the reason why, why he's going there is because there is some activity that you could say is special or different, such as zombies. And um, back in the day, whenever I, I heard this announced and I played this game, I thought it was interesting because this, this was a much different Resident Evil from the rest. Whether it's a third camera perspective or the fact that these are some kind of different type of zombies, you know, they speak, they move fast, they do different stuff, they have weapons, they hit you, they burn you, uh, they have parasites on them, they have like this stuff and everything, it's just very different to, from the traditional Resident Evil games that I played up until that point. Um, so whenever I played this for the first time, I was very intrigued, there was a lot of action in it, uh, there was a lot of puzzles and all the good stuff that Resident Evil is good at, but with more stuff and everything. Uh, this is one of my favorite games in the Resident Evil genre, and I, I mentioned this earlier, but I just really enjoyed how the story is well done and everything. The gameplay is super different from, from the other Resident Evil at that point. And, and I think that was kind of like the highest point at, up until Resident Evil 2, uh, the remake. I feel like they were able to transition that so good, it was fantastic. Um, should you play this version of uh, the Switch? Like I said, it just depends whether um, you want to spend the extra $10. It's it, it's really at this point it's really up to you. The, the game is fantastic, as I said. The story is great. The controllers uh, they haven't aged as well as I thought they did. Uh, honestly, I had a little bit of a hard time in the first couple hours just because I was trying to adjust myself. Um, the uh, L1 and the R1 controller, I'm sorry, the uh, the joysticks don't work the same way as I remember them working. Uh, they don't work as in new games. They do, they work very different. And if you remember back on the on the GameCube and the PS2, they didn't work as well. So uh, I I hope they made up. Maybe they had fixed that a little bit, but they didn't at all. Um, and overall, the game, like I said, it performs well on the Switch. There is no major. I mean, it's just a this is a GameCube game, so you will hope that this game will perform go good on the. Uh, on the um, Switch, even with the enhancements and big thing, because the game does play at 1080, um, it does have uh, a better resolution and it does look better. Um, but overall, it's, it's pretty just the exact same game. Really, there's no no much upgrades or anything like that. I played the version and the PS3 and the PS4 and the PC. So at this point, honestly, 
It's free just to your preferred platform, really. I just don't really understand why it's more expensive on the Switch. That's that. I said. <gasps> It's a head scratcher, really. I don't understand. Uh, but I will be giving um, Resident Evil uh, 4 on the Switch a 9 out of 10. I think that it's really good if you want to pick it up. Uh, but being that there's no upgrade, being that there's nothing special added to it, it doesn't really deserve the extra, 30, the extra $10. I don't think there's a reason for that at all. Uh, if there was a physical copy with a cartridge, I might understand that. Uh, because it is expensive to to release them on the cartridges and everything that you see a lot of games that don't get physical releases on the switch and that kind of stuff um but yeah that's pretty much it for today uh i if i were to rate the game on other platforms i'll, I'll definitely give it a 10 out of 10 but i am taking that point off because the, the price just really doesn't match what they're giving right now thank you so much for watching this video here if you're new like and subscribe it will be cool but for now i'll see you next time okay